All right, guys, quickly, I'm going to show you a quick breakdown of how I made this dancing guy here and how I have the particles falling off his body. It was a really simple kind of setup here. It wasn't too lengthy. It took about an hour minus the rendering time to actually set everything up. Basically, the first thing you want to do, let me grab the chart from Peter. So the first thing I ended up doing was basically taking my video, broke it down into image sequences, brought that into Blender and then decided what type of camera movement do, do I have on my shot. Now, I've thought about the camera movement before I shot the shot, so you should really think about your movement of your camera before you start filming it. It's really going to help in the long run. So you can clearly see here, I ended up moving forward and back and, and rotating. So I knew that I was gonna be doing kind of like a perspective scan because there is parallax, I'm going forward, I'm going back, I'm rotating, I'm not just standing in one spot, I'm physically moving my body. Did my blender tracking, recreated my scene, this scene wasn't too difficult to recreate. I actually did a little bit of overkill. Like at first here, you can just see the ground plane. It's just right there. I have just this ground plane here for the shadow. When I first built it, I actually built this back wall and I built this side wall. The particles weren't interacting with that because the particles were just dropping here and he was he was right here. So the sun was shining on him. So it was really overkill. Like matter of fact, it was rendering shadows for this and it was rendering shadows for the back wall. And that was adding to the render time. So I ended up cutting all that out and just kept the plane right here where he's interactive and where his shadow's interacting. Kept that plane there. Um, I have two particle systems on his body. I have one is an emitter and one is actually hair. And I'm using a this ribbon. I just bait this primitive, you know, looks like a, rib, a ribbon and threw that on here. I'll quickly show you how I set that up. So here's my, my character that I ended up using. I brought in a plane or actually I just use this a cube so I don't have to build the ge bottom geometry. So I got him doing his thing on here. Click on him. I added a particle system onto him. And then from there, I went to hair and I brought the hair down to like 0.03. I think it was very small. And then for this case, like um, the ribbon, I kind of just made a, a quick little primitive of a ribbon. So let's go GZ. So that's going to be my ribbon. And then like you can add a subdivision onto that shade smooth. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. Boom. So there's my ribbon. And then what I do, go back to him, select the particle system. We got hair. I'm going to go to render as object. And then I select the bow. OK, and it's super small right now. So if I crank it up. You can see that's what it's kind of looking like there. So what we do is to rotate the origin to click on this tab in and make sure I'm select all rotate on the X. All right. So we can get it to uh, that's backwards, right? So we kind of want it to be let me go rotate. Actually, I think it's in the right position. Actually, yeah, it's in the right position. So I got lucky on that, but you'll need to rotate that around to get it to line up properly. So from there, go back in here then you just tweak all your settings now the scale I'm gonna bring that back down a little bit it's kind of bring it something like that go to advanced and also turn on your rotation and you can add a little bit of rotation in there randomness Kind of mix that up there we go so play with that and then what I ended up thinking I, I ended up using was source I went to volume and then added that up. Let's kind of add some more numbers, maybe like 2000. Make it a little bit bigger. Scale that up a little bit. All right, so that's pretty much how you add the part, the particles to his body. And then you would just basically give this a material. So there he is. But then you can see here, we got a little bit of brown showing from him, uh, his other, basically the other Mixamo body. So you click on your Mixamo character and you jump in down into here to this and then you can change the material that's on his body. So I'm going to actually change that to the same material. All right, so there he is. He's pretty much all all the same. And then the way I made the pieces fall off of him was again repeating this process. So let me go back and click on him again. Make sure he's selected. Jump back to the particle system. I'm going to mute this one for now. All right. So again, I added another particle system on there. And matter of fact, just go like, boom, add that on. And I leave this one to emitter. 
And then I think I ended up changing this to like six or something else. Go to five. I just wanted a few little pieces to fall off of him. Uh, again, going down to render as and you select your same piece, my object. And then the same thing, we'll need to scale that up to match the size that we had of the originals. So we hit play. You can see the pieces is, is dropping off. And of course it's going through the ground because we get to add a collision to the ground. So I'll come into the ground, add a collision here, and then, you know, change your, your settings. I think I ended up using like 0.8 on the dampening and 0.8 on friction, depending on what your surface is going to be like. And then you notice that the pieces fall through the floor, which is like super annoying, right? So what I ended up doing to fix that, let me add a little bit more particles here so we can uh, see that. Let me go to like 100 for the sake of this. All right, there's the particles and you'll have some of them that fall through the floor. And then you see the rotation. And so we'll need to go back and change all that in the particle settings, come back in here again, rotation uh, and randomness. We wanna change that up also and change the randomness on that. And then I think I also chose dynamic rotation. Yeah, dynamic rotation. So they fall off according to the way they're falling off the body, All right? And then again, you wanna set your, your light to the whole length of the clip. So I'm just gonna say 100 because it's only 75 and they emit from one to 200. So now they'll stay there the whole time, All right? See like that. But sometimes if you get close, you'll see some, you'll get some weirdness happening with like some that are going through the floor like this. It was a real pain. So what I ended up doing was I found this other setting here in physics and physics down here in deflection, say uh, size deflect. And now it makes it bounce on top. But then if you look now they're floating, right? Like they're floating in the air. And that's based on the size of this of our uh, particle size, which I basically come back into particles and we cranked up the size here. Where's it at? Right here. The original size was 0.05, right? Now, look, see, now they all get closer down towards the ground, but they're still not on the ground, but they're closer, right? So what I ended up doing was I just tabbed into my rhythm, my ribbon and scaled that up. But you want to make a copy of it because you're going to scale up the uh, the other rhythm that's already on the body, right? So I ended up just making a copy, Shift D, and that's going to be my second particle that's going to try to use to match. So let's go ahead and turn our other particle back on here so we can see the size. So that's the size we're looking for that we want to have our particles. And that floor is way off, huh? Oh, and that's another thing. I'll show you about the feet really quickly. See how the feet, all the particles are going through the foot. So the way I also fix that was quickly let me click on here tab into your character and go into your front view i'm going to go to vertex and just select the bottom here make sure you uh include so i can get everything i'm just going to select the bottom of his feet and then you make a group right press Control g assign to new group and then on the particles you scroll down here to the bottom and you'll see uh, vertex groups you go to density and then down here, you'll scroll all the way again. You should see the one at the bottom group, click that and then choose invert. And now the particles won't be on his foot. The particles are not supposed to be on his foot. Am I on the right particle system? I think I'm on the wrong particle system. Let me see. Yeah, I'm on the wrong particle. system. actually we'll do it on that particle system too. And then you repeat that on this particle system here. Same thing, density, group, and then flip it and then boom, there's his feet, right? Okay, so now I got the feet. Let me bring that ground plane down just a little bit more to a little bit right about there. Okay, there, so now it's off of his foot, which is also important. So now our particles, to get these particles the right same size, we need to go back and let's go back here, go back to our second part. So that's why you wanna make sure you name these particle systems so you don't get mixed up. And then um, now again, we're gonna come back to this particle system and we are going to adjust that size. So let me bring out a couple of particles so they fall on the floor so we can see. Now that I set my, where's my scale? Okay, it's back to default. Now we're gonna click on that. This other particle, we're gonna tab into it. Make sure it's all selected and we're just gonna scale it up. 
We're just gonna scale it up. And I chose one, so I need to go back and I need to choose the right particle. Drop one particle is going to be render object, right? We wanna choose the other plane. We wanna choose this one. Boom, there they go. Now they're all big, okay. That's uh, almost as big, right? Let me click in here again, edit, tab into this, select all, scale that up just a little bit more. All right, and let them drop. Now they're dropping on the floor, right? And they're about the same size, so. We'll see it like that. Boom, 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 boom. Nice, nice. Now you're still getting some that are kind of like sticking up and like not falling over, but hey, Blender's particle system is kind of whack, right? So it's not the best. You know, Cinema 4D particle system is pretty cool, especially their rigid bodies and stuff like that. But hey, Blender's coming there, it's getting around. But that's basically how to do it, guys. And then the rest from there was just compositing. And that was another issue I had. I had a, le a lens flare totally hit the lens, like boom, like watch, here it is. The lens flare hits right there and i'm like ah oh, man so when i originally had it comp composited he his body color just stayed consistent so he didn't change when the lens flare happened so what i had to do is animate the gamma and fusion i'll show you the fusion setup matter of fact really quickly here 